there's been a lot of discussion about what the differences are between the Model 3 performance cars made in the U.S. versus the cars that are made in China for the rest of the world. While I don't have access to a made in China vehicle, I do have a lot of data for those cars that I have collected. This video will attempt to highlight the differences between those two cars. In the United States, our cars are made exclusively in Fremont, California for distribution in the U.S. and Puerto Rico. My understanding is that China produces all of the cars for the rest of the world, including Canada, Mexico, Europe, Asia, and Oceania. The Fremont cars use a Panasonic battery that is sourced in the United States, so it qualifies for the full $7,500 U.S. federal tax credit. The battery has an 82.1 kilowatt hour total capacity, according to my TestLogic device that reads the data over CAN bus. Even when brand new, the TestLogic app indicates the car has 3% of battery degradation. This is because the battery has a buffer below 0%, and the TestLogic app automatically counts the buffer as degradation. It is important to subtract about 3% from the degradation value to get your actual degradation with the Panasonic battery. Right now, my TestLogic app is showing 79.9 kilowatt hours of max available capacity. This value has actually gone up from when I first got the car. That is because the car is always trying to recalculate how much capacity is left. The number of the battery displays is always an educated guess and not a hard and fast measured value. If your car goes from 10% degradation to 11% degradation in a single day, it doesn't necessarily mean your car degraded 1% in a single day. It just means the estimate the car is giving corrected by 1%. In all likelihood, the car is exactly the same as it was before. The only thing that changed was the guesstimate the car gives. I have seen some data for the Made in China cars with the LG battery, and they start with 78.8 kilowatt hours for the full pack when new. The usable capacity is typically around 77.9 kilowatt hours with a 3.50 kilowatt hour energy buffer below zero. Battery degradation in modern Tesla vehicles is way overblown. Unless you are seeing 20% or more degradation, you really shouldn't worry about it. The batteries in these cars will degrade, and that shouldn't matter unless you were driving hundreds of miles every single day. The most important difference between the Panasonic battery in the U.S. and the LG battery used in the rest of the world is the max discharge value. This is a hard limit on how much power the battery can produce at any given time. This value is variable based on the battery temperature and the state of charge. For the U.S. Panasonic battery, you can see as much as 461 kilowatts or 627 metric horsepower from the max discharge value. However, for the LG battery in the rest of the world, the most I've seen with a nearly optimized battery is 406 kilowatts or 552 metric horsepower. That is 55 kilowatts or 75 horsepower difference. That affects acceleration tremendously. For the LG batteries outside of the U.S., the quickest quarter mile time we've seen on Draghi so far is an 11.22 at 120.70 miles per hour. That sounds quick and it definitely is quicker than the previous LG cars, but you really have to dig into the details to see exactly what is happening. The 60 foot time is 1.75 seconds, which is actually quite good. Previous generation cars had 60 foot times of closer to 1.82 when fully stocked. I had to take 205 pounds out of my 2022 Model 3 performance to match the LG car's 1.75 second 60 foot time. There was even one 2024 LG car that did a 1.73 second 60 foot time. That almost matches the 1.71 60 foot time that I got with my 2024 Panasonic car. There is absolutely nothing wrong with the 60 foot times of the cars with the LG battery. They will equal or beat even the Panasonic battery cars to the 60 foot distance. In fact, the LG cars can actually keep up with the Panasonic cars to almost 40 miles an hour as this graphic shows. It is after 40 miles per hour where the real difference shows. After 40 miles per hour, power reaches the peak. The fact that the LG battery has a limit that is 75 horsepower or more lower than the Panasonic battery is what really slows the LG cars down. If you look at the 40 to 50 and 50 to 60 mile per hour times for the LG battery on the left and the Panasonic battery on the right, you will see how much of a difference there really is. I'm gaining almost one tenth of a second every 10 miles per hour with the Panasonic battery over the LG battery. That occurs from 40 miles per hour all the way through 130 miles per hour. In some cases, the Panasonic battery cars will gain almost half a second on the LG cars and only 10 miles per hour of acceleration. 
Here's a video showing an 11.25 quarter mile pass on the left versus a 10.75 quarter mile pass on the right. Both cars continue accelerating past 130 miles per hour, so you can see what the actual difference would be between a Model 3 with the LG battery versus one with the Panasonic battery. Above 40 miles per hour, the LG battery just isn't remotely close to keeping up with the Panasonic battery. It is like they are two completely different cars above 40 miles per hour. For people in a lot of countries, the LG battery cars are fine. They do 0 to 40 miles per hour in the same time as the US cars and the speed limits in most countries limit you from accelerating much beyond 60 to 70 miles per hour. However, in countries like Germany or on tracks, the LG battery will severely limit the acceleration potential of the car. I don't want it to sound like the LG battery cars are not good. They are good for most people's needs. However, I do want to emphasize that if you see these incredible quarter mile and 60 to 130 mile per hour times people are getting with the US version of the car, don't expect the LG cars to come anywhere close to those numbers above 40 miles per hour. They just simply can't and most likely never will because that max discharge value is a hard limit on how much power the battery can actually produce.